at me! I'm hideous! What if somebody sees me? Well, in the Tower of Eddie, we could hide behind telephone poles. Oh, yeah? My dad has a shovel. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ed and Eddie The Misadventures. My name is Mr. DJ Sock Puppet, and uh, the last time we left off, Eddie, uh, he got an urgent reaction from eating some jawbreakers. It didn't really make sense why they were covered in foot powder, but they were. So, uh, what we're supposed to do first is, we gotta go all Metal Gear, and, uh, get inside this box, and sneak past the dog when we can. So, just whenever he's not facing you, just sneak right on past him, and uh, you'll be good to go. Alright, it uh, looks like there's a box I missed over here. Okay. So, we see Johnny over here. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hide behind the telephone poles. However, there's another way. And I may or may not get caught. Yeah, I got caught. That's okay. What I'm trying to do is more important than getting caught in. If it's just going to respawn you right here, who really cares? Okay, so Johnny's walking away now. So if we make our way over here... And he saw us through the gate somehow. Okay. Okay, well this time I'm going to hide right here. Wait till he passes. Trust me, this is worth it. Okay. Just gotta be patient here. But uh, if you don't do it this way, you can uh, get behind the telephone pole during the tower, Eddie, and push a button and uh, it'll uh, let you... Uh, all inc incognito behind it. But anyway, that gold coin there, it gives you like, I don't know, maybe like 20 something? I may be wrong. But uh, we got past Johnny. But now we got Naz over here to worry about. So, what are you supposed to do? Well, we got that box we can sneak past her with. But uh, here's the better solution if you switch to double D, get out the slingshot, and then hit the school bell. If you hit the school bell, for some reason, uh, she feels the need to go over there. So we can now go past her. And it uh, looks like she left something behind. Curse my predilection for confectionaries! Yep, we got jawbreaker number eight. Excellent. Okay, so now that we did that, let's just head on back here. If the camera will cooperate. <laughs> now, once you get over here, you're gonna want to go this way. Because, as you can see, Jimmy's over there. So how are we supposed to get rid of him? Well, if you switch to Ed... Oh, Eddie's stuck. Well, we're gonna need him for later, so we might as well go back and get him. That was weird. I was, I was afraid I was gonna have another super glitchy moment. And then I have to start all over. That would be annoying. Okay, so now that we're back over here, get Ed, pick up one of the paint cans, and uh, just lob it toward Jimmy. And it looks like no matter where you throw it, it's gonna go straight toward him. So now he's gone. A little easter egg you can do here is if you switch to Eddie, you can go up to these paintings and interact with them. If you push the triangle button, he'll draw mustaches or beards or whatever all over Sarah. LOL, funny. Okay. Now, back over here, where we saw the chicken of this level before, we can uh, get some of this cash again. But uh, if we go down this path through all these tree trunks and whatnot, you'll see there's a jawbreaker here. Oh, baby. Now, for whatever, now for whatever reason, this jawbreaker is only here um, in the second part. If it's it's not here when you find the chicken the first time, you have to get to the Jawbreaker store, the candy store, whatever, and then come back, and then it'll be there. So that's the only time you can get it. Stupid animals! Think they're so cute! Well, that wasn't very nice, Eddie. Anyway, um, heading back t to the beginning here. Okay, we see Sarah and Jimmy here, and it looks like Jimmy's got another Jawbreaker. Okay, and now there's 
two ways you can do this. You can uh, hide in, hide in the bush here, uh, similar to the way we hid in the box, or you could do it this other way. And this actually involves a special ability that I have not shown off yet, and it is Eddie's El Mondo Stink Bomb. If you go up to anything and push circle, Ed and, well, Eddie will throw a stink bomb. This can be used to stun enemies, and in this case, uh, get rid of them. Okay, so once you get close enough, just throw it just the right way. It may take a couple tries to get it right. I gotta be careful though, Sarah's suspicious. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. And they leave the jawbreaker behind. And Eddie didn't say anything for some reason. So, 10 out of 40, I believe that's everything for this level. Yep, 4 out of 4, 1 out of 1, and 1 out of 1. Great. And for some reason, the background music wasn't playing. I'm not going to question it. This game's kind of glitchy sometimes. Okay, but we do see Kevin over here, so he's the last one we have to avoid. But if you remember, the last time we came to a tractor, if we put Double D next to it, he can fix it up and make it run. So now we just gotta follow the path of the tractor. And technically, it doesn't really matter if Eddie's behind it or not. The character you're controlling just has to be behind it. Which is kinda weird, admittedly, but you know, whatever. There's some cash that we're not gonna be able to get, but whatever. And uh, once we get the tractor all the way here, this gate should be open. And uh, you just completed Scam 3. It must be something I uh, Current game completion, 35%. And uh, that sh that means that we've done everything so far. So, good to go. Let's watch the ending cutscene, guys. We made it! Man, that was a close one. <laughs> hey, dork! Say cheese! <laughs> so I guess all for the all that second part of the level was for nothing because they found us anyway. But whatever. We completed half of the uh, main scams. So we're good to go there. Um, if you go over here, this is not Scam 4, this is actually the first bonus scam, but like I said, I'll be going over that later. So I guess to end off this video, we will look at some of the stuff that we collected. So let's take a look. Okay, first we have the Jawbreakers. Alright, so let's go down to number 7 here. Root beer, brewed in oak barrels in accordance to 17th century standards. I don't remember if that's a reference to something or not. Okay, what do we have here? Everlasting. Is there no better kind? I suppose not. Candy beats. Calms the nerves. I think that was from the show also. And uh, finally we have anchovy paste. A fine year indeed it was. Okay, so that covers all the jawbreakers. Uh, go to costumes. You'll see the Edzilla costume is complete and it says Edzilla level unlocked. So the next three scams are going to be collecting pieces of the Space Ranger suit. Okay, and finally, Easter eggs. Uh, we have spacesuit, and uh, if we select this on, we'll get this message here. It says appearance modifications will happen at next level load. So, if we have the spacesuit on here, it's it's not going to show up. So I think real quick, I will just go into scam two here, just because it's right next to us, and I'll show you what it looks like. And see, now we're covered in spacesuits, kind of like a, you know, that episode where they had spacesuits on. And they thought everyone was aliens, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what this is a callback to. So we got Ed. Well, this is Eddie. I'm saying them all in order. Okay, we got Eddie here. Then Double D, Ed. Didn't really change anything else except their outward appearance. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show. So I guess next time on Let's Play Ed and Eddie the Misadventures, we will be going over Scam 4. I've been Mr. DJ Sock Puppet, and I will see you all next time.